I've been noticing this season how much time and how much effort, how much energy, and oh my goodness, how much money we spend trying to keep Jesus out of the manger. I mean, think about it. Think about um, uh, the decorations that we use. We use these dangly, flashy bits, and we slick our hair down and put the once-a-year clothes over top of who we really are. Doesn't it seem like we're trying to avoid something? Or this time of year, we talk about the peace on earth, and we say that this baby is the prince of peace, and yet we keep trying to win peace at the end of a gun barrel. And when it doesn't seem to be working and we get nervous, we double down and on our boots and blood and tramping warriors and stand our ground. And then when it doesn't work, we get more afraid. Doesn't that feel like we're holding something off? Or even being here tonight. For some of us, we're here perhaps out of obligation that tonight is to get mom off our back. For some of us, we're here for magic and a perfect little baby without a whole lot of room for anything else. Doesn't it seem like we're trying to hold something back? We spend an awful lot of time and energy and, oh my goodness, money trying to keep Jesus out of the manger. And still he comes. And my goodness, he keeps coming in the wrong ways. He's born in this little barn on the outskirts of a no-account town in the Middle East, born to an immigrant family. He's born homeless because the government in that area wanted to keep a database of all the people who didn't belong. And so he was pushed around the countryside by the Roman Empire. He's born there in the midst of animals and dung where he doesn't belong. We say he's God with us. God born in a barn. God resting in a feed trough in all the ways that are wrong. You would think the king of kings would be power and prestige and persuasion like we expect. And instead he comes weak helpless, vulnerable, dependent on us, bloody and crying in the night. This Jesus comes in all the wrong ways, and still he comes. Well, no wonder we try to keep him out of the manger. He's going to ruin everything. If this is God, God out there, born here, all the way down here, it means that all the things we thought we've been, all the things we've been taught that we can depend on are upside down. That all of the values that we've been taught and raised and how we live and all the things that we've been taught are upside down and somehow our world, instead of what we expected, is, it's like we're being held by our ankles. We're being shaken down for milk money by all the people who count on us being afraid. If God Almighty reaches down all the way down to this, To be born in a manger, this fingernail scraping bottom. If God shows up here, oh my goodness, it means there's no place we are safe from God. If he's liable to show up here, it means there's no corner and no time when he's not liable to show up. And we have to be on our guard all the time because God could be there where we least expect it. And still he comes. No wonder we're afraid of this little baby, because welcoming a child like this is going to change everything. Welcoming a child like this means we're going to have to face the reality of who we are and who we aren't. That we are not the people we most want to be and that we've been pretending we are. 
We are going to have to face the fact that we are not in charge. We are not in control. But we are afraid. We don't have it all together. But we are broken and we are hurting and we have these jagged little bits that we swept into the corners where nobody else can see them. And we're going to have to face the fact that all of us feel like if anybody saw those, we would not, we would be unlovable. To welcome a child like this means God isn't what we thought. God, as it turns out, is not like us. God is not angry or judgmental or punishing. God, it turns out, is a heartsick parent. So longing for his children that he will do anything, go to any lengths, reach as far as he can and he can reach much farther than we can imagine. God will do anything to make sure that you know how cherished you are. That he loves you and you matter to heaven. And there's nothing he won't do to make sure you know that even step into the muck and filth that we surround ourselves with Welcoming a child like this is going to change us. Because to be loved like that, to be cherished by heaven, to know that you matter enough that God will do anything to reach you, is going to change who you are. And as you discover how loved you are, you're in danger of falling in love back. And when you fall back in love with that kind of a parent, you're liable to fall in love then with the other lives that matter so much to him. Welcoming a child like this is going to change everything because he doesn't stay in the manger. This is a beginning. This is new life. And this Prince of Peace is issuing an invitation. An invitation to be part of his living body in the world today. To follow and know who he is. Lord of Lords, Prince of Peace, wonderful Counselor, God with us. Welcoming this child is going to change everything. And still he comes in all the wrong ways for all the love in the universe all of us and for you. Jesus has come. Thanks be to God.